The Time Editor is where you organise and edit the timing of animation in your scene. To change the current frame, click and drag in the timeline. To step through frames, use Command on the Mac or Control on Windows and the left and right arrows. Double click a keyframe to edit its value. You can move keyframes around by clicking and dragging. You can also move entire channels by clicking and dragging the key bar, like so. Hold Alt to move neighbouring pairs of keyframes. And finally, you can retime an entire element by dragging its visibility bar. You can modify the visibility bar in a few ways. You can drag the endpoints by hovering until you see a white bar, then click and drag. Hold Alt to move all the endpoints that share the same frame. This works even when the shared frames are a match of start and end frames. To split a visibility bar, right click and choose Split, then drag one of the endpoints away from the split point. To merge visibility zones, just drag one endpoint over another visible area. To set the working area or playback range, drag the endpoints in the timeline or move to a frame and use the B or N keys. Another useful keyboard shortcut is the spacebar, which will start and stop playback. To zoom the window, use the slider in the bottom right. If you zoom a long way into the window, the background will show alternating frame colours. To hide or show animation channels for a given element, click the dot next to the hierarchy button. As a result of this, Cavalry will indicate any keyframes for that element in the visibility bar. The more keys there are on that frame, the larger the indicator. This gives you a good indication as to where the important keyframes are. To step through keyframes, you can use Command on the Mac or Control on Windows, Alt, and the left and right arrows. With nothing selected, this will step through all the keyframes in a scene. If you have one or more elements selected, you will only step through the keyframes of those elements. If you have specific attributes selected, key stepping restricts itself to those attributes. This also works for keyframes. The Transform tool is an easy way to scale and move keys en masse. To use it, select some keys and then click the Transform Tool button in the footer. You can click and drag the endpoints to scale keys. If you hold Alt while dragging the endpoints, the edit you're performing will ripple through any adjacent keyframes. You can align keyframes by clicking on the three buttons in the Time Editor footer. When dragging a selection in the time editor, keyframes have priority over key bars. So if a keyframe becomes selected, everything else is filtered out. If you want to select the visibility bars, hold Alt while dragging. Any action you perform will then happen for all selected items.